they came for us. The Kraal's chosen. We're still standing. And they're left in the dirt. We've proven ourselves worthy for now. But they'd return. The sandpit, as we'd taken to calling it, was coming together. And I could barely believe it. But Lo actually managed to grow food. A decent amount of it too. Cacti, wheat. There was a chance we'd be able to sustain ourselves out here. Not have to rely on others. We'd need to, if we were to build armies. Armies. Even the idea of that still seemed foreign. Just a dream. But we were dreamers. That's exactly what we did. We knew how to fight. How to defend ourselves. Even against the horrors out here. Because we had each other. And our numbers were enough to fight back. Even when the monsters came. Those that would to eat us. No, oh, we'd make use of them. It was going to take a lot more than that to tear apart our legion of the free. A ways to the east of our valley, the swamp lay. We'd encountered villagers there before. Perhaps it was time that we return. Traded. Got the supplies we need. We were close to being back up onto our feet. Able to run without squin. Heck, before long, we might not even need the home. It had done us well. But the sand pit. Now that felt like home. I just hoped we weren't making some foolish mistake. Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rykon here, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Kenshi. As you can see, we're currently paused, and for good reason. You'll be able to tell that during that opening, we were attacked by a skin spider. A skin spider of which we managed to dispose of pretty quickly. However, in that time, we have been attacked by a pack of bone dogs. Um, thankfully, they actually seem to be pretty injured to start with here, so we aren't looking too bad right off the bat. Also considering that uh, we've got most of us here. Now, I'm going to get Hobbs right away and get him to back right off. He is going to be staying ranged. As for Rain here, we're going to take that backpack off, and I don't believe you have one on, Ziff. The others are running out here to assist, most of them still very, very close by, so I got to think that we stand a pretty good chance to win this fight here. Park, let's see how you can do. Wow, a few really good attacks on Ziff to start with. He's having a hard time. Attacks coming from every which way. We've got some going down. We've got some of us going down. Actually, no, Ziff is still up at this stage. That was very, very fast. We've nearly finished it here. We can see an adult dog meat looking pretty good there. And I believe that is going to be all of them. Now, this is more injuries for us, which isn't great. But you'll also notice that everyone is assisting with um, our medicking which I think should make things a little easier for us overall. It means that um, we're always going to have a chance to uh, make sure that we're going to be okay. And I think that's Firebone running out here to forage from animals, which is exactly what we want to have happen. Yes, yes, yes. Kitchy, um, I believe you've probably already... No, you haven't foraged the skin spider, probably because there isn't much to grab from it, but we need to grab those trophies so that it dies. Otherwise, there's a chance it could come back. We can see that most people here are... Well, they don't know what to do with themselves right now. And they're off again. Medicking somewhere else. Hanbu, you should be able to go and get yourself back to work. Although in saying that, you seem to be having trouble reaching... Oh, your jobs are off. Let's go ahead and turn that back on. I think everyone else's jobs should be on at this stage. Oren seems fine. Ziff seems okay too. Could do with a little bit of a recovery. And you know what? With that blood being as low as it is, I think it's going to be safer if we do that. We're going to go and get the two of them back. Oren, you can come back and rest for a while. Looks like Sand is heading back out here. Finding corpses. Uh, now, these are corpses that have already been looked over by Kiji and Firebone, so we should be good to incinerate them. I guess the only thing about the incineration, well, the incineration of the corpses is that we, we are getting much from it at this stage because we don't have very large battery banks. We could try and stock them up a little bit higher, but really, right now, we don't need the power, exactly. 
So sand doesn't have to do it, but at the same time, it keeps the area clearer. And I think I, there's part of me that thinks that having having bodies around attracts scavengers. So things like bone dogs or skin spiders. So getting rid of them is for the better. Rain, how are you? You could probably do with a little bit of a rest as well. So let's go ahead, allow you to have that rest. I think the others over here should be doing okay. Hanbu and Spot, yeah, you're both looking really good. Dog meat, you're also okay. You've you've had some fights, but overall you're looking all right. We also moved the animal feeder over here. Currently, it doesn't have any food items in it, so we'll have to have a look at maybe mixing that up. Kiji is cooking away, making some nice dried meat for us. Good job, Kiji. Good job. You've got some skins to drop off as well, so. Yeah, that's not a priority. We'll let you do your cooking first and then you can drop it off. Hong is still working hard to make us some more leather. And I think we're probably... No, we've actually got some fabric there still. Surprisingly enough. And we're maxed out on leather currently. Yeah. We need to get our boy Sands back in here. You know what? I'm beginning to think that we don't need you on the corpse furnace job. We could probably get someone else doing that, buddy. Right now, it isn't a priority for us. <laughs> Yeah. Lo is working the fields. Has been working this one for a while now. Number of plants to harvest. Six. Oh no, that's how many are there. Time left to harvest. Before they go bad. Ah, so yes, we do. We do want to make sure that we have... Yeah. We do want to make sure that that harvest is done before then. Now, I have also asked out the front here for some to be constructed. Uh, we need more cacti to be able to get this one up and running. This is an extra large field. So it's 40, and we've got wheat straw being planted over here as well. We need 60, so it's quite a investment to make at the start. Maybe um, not the smartest move for me to make, but we'll see if that works out. In the long run, it might. It might for all we know. Lo, you're off to do some engineering. I think I'm actually going to take you off engineering for now, just because, um, yeah, harvesting is going to be more of a priority for us. And we'll only get you going back to that stone mine when we absolutely need it. How is this going? That's going okay as well. Oblum is still working hard on the stone here. And Oblum seems to be doing a good enough job just as she is. We might actually even be able to get Hobbs to help us out. Because um, right now, he's not doing too much. Actually, you know what? We could get Hobbs helping us out with farming. Yeah. I know it's a little, it's it's maybe a little beneath him, but I'm sure, I'm sure he'll be okay to help us out. More often than not, we are going to use Hobbs for for runs, which maybe isn't the best idea, considering he isn't he isn't the best at it. But um, this, at the very least, he should be able to get a little bit better at over time. His farming is one at the moment, so he's got to screw this up a little bit. But he will get better before long. Farming of seven. Yeah, that's going up pretty quick. Where'd you run off to, Hobbs? You got <laughs> got distracted, you got tired of that. Engineering. Actually, yes, there is a little bit of engineering to do, and that's just adding some more cacti from the fields. Yeah, so it's gonna be a slow process, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Um sand, my buddy, my pal. You have been focusing on engineering more than anything else. I think I'm going to go ahead and get you down here for now. Even though I'm sure your engineering is actually pretty good. It is It is really good. Um, yeah. But for now, I want him to focus on making us some armor. Because I don't think we've actually completed one yet. Because they do take quite a while to complete. See, the weapon cabinet is really well stored up. I actually know we have completed one. And it is high grade. So there you go. Not bad. Gary, how are you feeling? You looks like you're feeling okay, but I don't think he can get up off here by himself. So let's use Park, who's having a bit of a crisis, just standing out there looking at the wall, unsure what to do with himself. Let's go ahead and put Gary down. There we go. Now, we might actually be able to use these two to do something here. Quite possibly. We already have some planks on you, my good friend. We might be able to go get some more of these on here. Do we want to keep any of the fragment axes? Hmm. I maybe keep, I'll keep that one. 
But we're going to go ahead. We are going to sell the rest of these. The horse chopper, combat cleaver, and those. What else can we stack you up with? Well, we want to take the other medical supplies and just put them in our general. Ah, we actually do have some more wheat straw here that we could work with. General storage is over here. Oh, it, I did have it open already. Yep, just go take those all. Now, who's actually building low? We could actually get you decked out with... Actually, I can't. Your inventory's full. You don't need to be carrying that stone. That's for sure. Um, might be worth us giving you a pack. Who doesn't need to have a pack on right now? Hmm. Park, generally we have you with that. We don't need you to have that right now. Although, I'm saying that if I'm going to send you out, it would be reasonable for me to want to keep your backpack on. Yeah, it's actually probably more Hobbs than anyone that doesn't need his pack. So, can you come and trade with Lo, possibly? Because you're fine now. You don't need to rest any longer. Actually, I'm being dumb. You're going to need it just as much, because you're helping us out with the farming. Um, You're not wanting to do anything right now, though. Let's also get you on the wheat farm. And... Well, I guess you still have engineer selected, so... Let's do that. Open up your backpack. We'll go take some wheat and some cacti. Now you should be heading off to go ahead and place those into there. We still need many more. Many, many more. Yes, I did speak about the swamp and heading down there. I'm tempted just to do a quick potential trading run. So we could take Gary, and we could take Park, for example, and see how we do there. Um, now, he's not doing any construction. I oh, know he is doing some engineering. Trying to. Staying close. Who are you staying close to? Your bodyguard and Gary at the moment. <clears throat> that I'm actually okay with. Let's get you to just drop these things off. They will be picked up and used more than likely. I'm going to take the two of you, and we're going to ride on down. Hmm. We could make it a shark, maybe. Although, the swamps, the swamps are dangerous. We, uh... Can't have any disillusions about that. Um, do we want to take any copper with us? How much copper do we have at the moment? Mm, we don't have too much. So no, I'd like to keep some of that here, if possible. Next thing that we want to have a look at, jumping into here, is the potential to make iron bars. And I'm not sure how we would do that, or if we have the possibility to do it. Sorry, steel bars is what I was trying to say. So, we've got our iron refinery. Okay, I couldn't find anything regarding the steel. It is probably going to be under research, but we do have this here, an item furnace. This produces raw iron. And that's something that we could probably go and stick out the back here. Now, it doesn't say it requires workers, so I imagine it might just be the one. We have multiple points you can kind of get this thing going from. I'm actually tempted to place it next to the light source here. I am wanting to maximize uh, the space out here. But yeah, I haven't quite settled on where I want it to go yet. We could go for an item furnace right at the back there like that. Yeah. I mean, it kind of fits with, with that at this stage. Let's run with that and see how that turns out. And that's what we're going to use, uh, you know, the leftover armor and other bits and pieces for. So I'm, I'm wondering whether or not that's a job that we can set up. Possibly? We can't be certain. Uh, we definitely want these two to stick together. I think Park is going a little bit further ahead just because I actually got rid of his job, which is to bodyguard. Why are you running back, buddy? Let's make uh, bodyguard your... Actually, you know what? It doesn't need to be your top priority. You're just going to run along with them. We'll go ahead and get rid of it. And we'll just get the two of them running at the same speed. Even though Gary is... Gary is getting way, way ahead of you there, bud. We'll make sure that you... You two are going to run at the same speed. Because Park is incredibly fast, but... Um, there we go. There we go. That's better. Nope, you're still running ahead. Okay. I thought that would change out on both of them. Nearly. There we go. On to the Swamp Village, folks. 
and then we'll probably swing by the way station on the way back depending on how they do hopefully they are successful hopefully it's a good trip because it's one that we'll probably end up doing a lot of it looks cool i like it gives us a nice kind of uh, <laughs> smoky effect ah oh, when it's running i think Total metals active on. Switching on will incinerate the entire inventory. Ah, nice. Okay, cool. Let's see, who do we want doing that? We could get Hobbs helping us out with that. That could be one of your additional jobs, my friend. Haul items to item furnace. Okay, hauling to item furnace. Now, what would you take to the item furnace is my question. Because I think if you had like additional armor or anything like that, you would want to hold on to it. My question is, can I take these to the ice and furnace? Probably. And that's probably all that you can manage. Unless I rearrange things slightly so that they don't fit at all. We can just could drop that on the ground. I think if I exit, let's see, uh, come on buddy, there you go, we got there in the end, okay, let's just run over to the item furnace with that, and see what you do, because if you drop everything, it's not working exactly how we want it to, <laughs> um, right, I can put those in there, so you load it up with as much as you can, and then you just let it do its thing. Uh, we got no <laughs> we we got nothing back from that. Uh, so let's see. Our total metal is 1.2. So it actually does tell you what you get out of it. Okay. So you want to try and get it so that you can get a total of one. Right. So it really only works on actual metal things. Good to know. Good to know. But hey, it's an extra it's an extra thing that we have there. Okay. With that little bit of loading, that makes me think that Park and Gary have been making it. Uh, reasonably far and that they have we're probably going to stick with them for a little bit here as they are running through the swamps now somewhere that's <clears throat> relatively dangerous and they decided to stop as soon as we came to see them because they're having trouble finding the swamp village or at least finding a way to path towards it it's been a while since we've been here in the swamps a very dangerous place a place that we've been quite lucky running through before and we'll hope that, that luck continues we can see the lights of this village off in the distance we can hear the screams of creatures how lovely we'll make our way towards it now this was a place that we actually did get caught stealing uh, but that was with sand rather than park and you know what I don't think there's actually much we can trade here yeah there's really only this building here so we'll see what they have on offer, but I can't imagine it's anything too wild. Looking for something. Yeah, maybe. More likely we're going to try and sell you some stuff. Okay, you do actually have some blueprints though. Bandana. Armored faceplate. So we know a lot of them already. I wouldn't mind buying some dried meat from here. Food is something that we're always going to need. Hemp is not bad. We could obviously turn that into fabric uh, it's quite cheap for us as well we should be able to take a few stacks of it that we can uh, looking over at Gary actually still with Park let's go ahead and sell all of these little teeths that we have Gary we could go ahead and sell this um, let's see. Yeah, the value's fine, so we're actually not losing any amounts, so we can see that we are fencing those, but, um, making a fair profit from them. As you do. Combat Cleaver. You've been good to us, and, yeah, we're looking pretty good on the back side of that. We could take some iron plates, but we don't really need it right now. And same thing with the building materials. The rice bowls aren't terrible. Actually, yeah, the cost is pretty good. Let's go ahead and pick some of those up. We can put them on Gary. Um, Park, you can hold on to those for now. I think that's fine. But I'd say that was a pretty good trade. Now, with the two of them, we could ride on from here. We could try and make our way to Shark. 
Is it going to be worth us doing that right now? Hmm. Well, we don't have too much to trade at this stage. We'd just be picking up materials. I don't think running all the way down there right now. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to do it because we could potentially recruit some people while we're down there. And getting some extra village folk, that wouldn't be half bad. Although we have to make sure that we don't get slowed down too much like that. And we really want them to be staying together for the most part. I don't know why they're wanting to go through the water here. They're getting all kinds of lost. Yep, just go back outside the town. Can we make sure that we stay together first of all? First things first. <laughs> and then let's start running to shark. Okay. I'm I'm definitely nervous for these two. But I'm also wanting to check in at home and just make sure that everyone's okay. Now, they seem to be fine. So we're just going to go back real quick and get them back to work. So they should be running off and doing their own things. Production is happening. Good. We shouldn't be missing out on anything back there. Hobbs should be helping out where he can. Kitchy, I think, is actually still cooking up some food. Excellent. Good. So we do have some more meat coming in here. I'm a little concerned about our animals, just because they won't have anything. And already, after looking away for two seconds, our friends are in trouble. And oh, what trouble they are in. However, we might be okay here. We have somehow managed to encounter the worst thing in the swamps, one of the worst things, are uh, blood spiders. Now, they're a lot smaller than the other spiders, the skin spiders that it, we've encountered before, but they can be really bad news. And they will eat you as well. So that's cool. Um, red sabers, though. I think we're actually okay with the red sabers. Let's just have a look at squads. Uh, we've got a faction. Red sabers, yeah, neutral. We're okay. Starving bandits absolutely despise us. Kral's chosen. Minus seven. Yeah. I think... Ooh, Gurgle. Gurgle's not good. Yeah, they are fast. Look at that. Look at that. Athletics 39. Ooh, we are going to have... No, I think we're away. I think we got enough distance initially that we're going to be all right. We're going to stick with these two for the rest of it, though. And yeah, I think... I think, thankfully, we're okay. Now, the swamps are a bountiful place. There's a lot that we can gain from this place food as well especially if you went down here for hunting party you can come away with some really decent amounts of food what in the hell did you we, we're all seeing that right what is that it's just a <laughs> it's a random light just oh it's gone but we're still being chased okay uh we're hearing someone say fuck 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 from behind and I think it's because he's being eaten we can hear Gary the Garu making some noises as we sludge our way through here Park just kind of you know making sure that Gary keeps at his heels and doesn't stop for any reason some very strange looking plants in here it's always nice to to get in a little bit closer and just have a look at the details sometimes and I'm also liking that it's running a lot smoother in the swamps than it has been in the uh, in the past. Actually, you know what? I think that could have been the light from Gary's pack for some reason. Had uh, flung off in the air. Oh, is that a village? No, it's not. It's just, um, it looks like structures. Yeah. Listen to you, Gary. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. Don't you worry. I've got my eyes peeled. Although, I don't think it's going to change much. If we run into a, a whole heap of them... It's just as bad. Um, this is quite cool. Oh, Raid is moving towards the sand spit. Well, that's really not great timing, considering we're still very far away from Shark. Okay, all right. Oh, and now the second that we look away, it's saying they're under attack. I don't think they are. I think it's the same group of spiders that are still chasing us. No, it's not. It's actually, is it Swamp Ninjas? No, it's Red Sabers. Hmm, okay. Ah, <laughs> shame, sucker. That's what you get. Okay, all right. That's that's kind of worked out in our favor. Let's go back home and see what and how this is happening. Wow, that was a little strange. Okay, 
Where is the attack coming from? Okay, I'm, I'm assuming that this is them here. It's a, and now it's an actual raid for a change. Move order. So as long as it's still saying move order, they're not being attacked. Oh, and a, and a massive dust storm's actually kicking up. So I think we should be smart about this. Because last time there was a raid making their way down here. I was like, oh yeah, it's going to take them ages to get here. Um, surprise, surprise. Doesn't actually take them ages to get here. Usually when they're moving, they will make it here before long. Okay, so the Band of Bones. The Band of Bones are this group here, the Exiles, I'm relatively sure. So it means that the Band of Bones are coming for us. Um, and they're going to be relatively well equipped. And you know what sucks? We don't have our man Park with us. Park is our MVP most of the time. So we need to grab everybody. Um, apparently we can also hit just Tilda whenever you're on a group. We're going to turn jobs off. And we're going to get everyone back inside. Uh, now, Kiji and Firebone, we want you both to just be chilling. Just chill for now. And we're going to go Hong. We're going to get you on this one. And we're going to go... Let's see... Oblum, your turreting is also good. On that one, low, your turreting is also good. On that one, if possible. Let's have a look at everyone else. Hobbs, your turreting is uh, it's subpar. Let's see. We'll go through the others here and just see who, who's actually good on the turrets. Dog meat. <laughs> Dog meat's great. Dog meat's great on the turrets. Um... Okay, all right, we're actually going to get Hanbu to come up and jump on this one, if possible. Okay, in we go, team. In we go. And we're just going to be ready for them. We're going to be ready. We're going to be waiting. We're going to be set for them to arrive. Oh, Gary's, and Gary's being attacked, but Park isn't. Oh, no, he's, they're swimming now. Why are they swimming? Why are you swimming? Okay, come on, we just need to get Oren inside and then we're going to be okay. Yeah, they're making their way over the hill now. Yet yeah, they're coming around the corner. The timing here isn't the best. Oh, look at that! Yes, they're on them. Now, I did restart the game, so there is a chance that that could have helped. Oren just needs to get inside. As soon as Oren gets inside, we can lock down the door. Gary's not under attack anymore, so that's good. Okay. Now Hobbs also has a crossbow, so we can get him standing up on the on the wall here. We're gonna have him on hold and ranged. Is that gonna upset your range skill? Um, combat skills bonus. So I guess yeah, that's overall. Let's go ahead and put all that stuff back into here. Not all of it, but you know, a majority. Let's get this thing closed. And as soon as Oren's in. Get that door closed. Okay, look at this team. Look at them. Now, Bonnie, I kind of want you to be out the way here. Aren't you meant to be staying close to Firebone? You are. I want you passive and out the way, back there. Kitchen and Firebone, they're doing their own thing. We could have them on jobs still, I think. Although having them on medic is potentially dangerous. We'll, we'll see if this works out for us. How close are they now? Oh, they're, 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 they're close. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, is this the war leader? Yeah. They're, they're not that great. But it's also the dust storm that's making it much more difficult. So, let's have a look at our grouping here. We need to get some backpacks off and, or make sure that we're not encumbered. So, we're not encumbered at all. Oren, you surprisingly are not encumbered. Okay. Looking around the rest, Ruka, get that down, and let's actually get that uh, light on you. Okay team, look at this team, we're going to be good, even though we don't have park, we're going to be good. Here they come, the band of bones. And yeah, as you can see, they're a tough looking bunch, that's a lot of strong chick heading our way although most of them are hungry 
and Hungary is going to be affecting their combat stance. Where's their leader here? Because I know we've I know we've clicked on their leader before. Among them here somewhere. I guess I just got lucky before. Oh, like the one right in front? Nope. Nope, I can't tell. Hey, that's fine. Yeah, I must have just got lucky. Um, well, I don't think we're gonna have time to check on them. We can at least see them on the map and see how they're doing. Okay, they, they're getting there. They ran past a, a, a den of some kind on the way to Shark. Shark can also be a dangerous place. There's little chance you can get attacked here, but right now our focus needs to be on home. So, I'm sorry, Park, but there we go. The raid has arrived. You have strayed far from the big cities, far from your god settlers. Hmm. Are we going to send some love to talk to them? I don't know if they want to talk. All that's left out here are horned demons. Mm-hmm. And they're thirsty for blood. I'm sure they are. Oh, yep. Your outpost is ours. Okay. We cannot afford to lose this. Please, everyone, be on your top game. Now, are they going to be shooting? They should be shooting right away. Uh, okay. <laughs> come on. Come on. Shoot at. Oh, yeah, we've got a few good shots right off the bat. Nice. I mean, we're firing into a whole heap of them here, so... We should be able to get at least get maybe a few more than that. Jeez, there's so many of them. Okay, good shots, good shots, good shots. Okay, where are they going? Oh, they're attacking the wall? Okay, they're in part, part of them are attacking the wall, others are heading inside. Okay, a few more good shots. Okay, oh, this is gonna be... This is going to be bad. Can we try repair the door? Get everyone attempting to repair it. At least slow down the process here. We've got a few good shots going off. You can see that we're we're kind of slowing the progress of the door, but it's going to drop any second now. Just need more of these shots to hit home. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. It's all or nothing. Uh, Kedji and Firebone, I need you to pull. Actually, you know what? Even though I know you don't have good fight, we're going to need you. It's just, it's everyone. If we fail this, the place falls. We can't let that happen. Uh, let's go ahead and swap things around. We're going to take you off passive. And that goes for Bonnie too. Even Bonnie. Gary? Park? Oh no. Oh no. You are kidding me. How close were they? Spiders. Freaking spiders. How close were we? We weren't there. We weren't close. I don't think he can stop this. I don't think he can save Gary. God damn it. And the walls are open, just like that. We've got one chance here. Park. God damn it. There's still so many of them. Okay, there's green, there's red, there's blood everywhere. We just need to fight. Try to fight. It's messy as hell. Seeing a few good attacks, but many coming from the others. Just keep it up, team. Keep it up. We're seeing a number of the Band of Bones falling here. We're still able to get some shots from this side here. That's got to be helping us out a fair amount. More of the Band of Bones dropping. Firebone nearly has lost an arm. Still fighting. Sand is down. Dog meat fighting on. Damn it, Park. 
I don't think there's anything he can do here as well. Gary, I'm so sorry. It was the worst timing for that attack to arrive. It's completely unhurt. I think the problem is that they probably tried to go through the water. I can't do anything for them. Not now. We have to focus on those that are here. In this defense. Come on. Rain, trying to fight still. No blade, no hand. Dog meat, being an absolute goddamn freaking MVP, has somehow done it. We survived that raid. I don't know how. how we did. There's still one more, but the raid has been finished. The raid has ended. They're trying to leave. We're gonna have to pick up the pieces. But I still want to see if there's anything we can do here. Park. He's up. No, I don't think I can get to Gary. And pick him up and then run. Because I think we're still effectively swimming right now. His leg is completely... Gone. <sighs> Son of a bitch. The swamps are so much more dangerous. Park. Buddy. Can you heal yourself? He needs to do that at the very least. Thing is, Park's a shake. He's not gonna stop. He's not gonna let this thing take his friend. No. He's gonna fight it, and he's gonna need to be fast. Park, <clears throat> out of sneak, onto onto this thing. There's a chance that we can do this. Follow, attack unprovoked. Oh, it's provoked, believe me. Come on, get there. He's in the water. Yeah, I, I, I know. Oh, you can't attack him in the water? Come on, come on, get his attention. Can't attack him there? Damn it. Try and see if you can pick him up. This thing's gonna start attacking him any second. Go, go, go. What in the hell? What? It's leaving him? It's running away. Heal him, heal him, heal him, heal him. His chest, his chest. Come on, come on, come on. If I get out of both of these today... Come on, come on, Park. Yes! <laughs> I... I don't know. I, I... I do not know how we did that. I honestly thought it was over for the two of them there. Now, some might accuse me of, like, playing things up to make them seem bigger than they are. That was definitely big. You bloody legend. Okay, okay, we need to check in on everyone else that's back here. We somehow survived the attack with all of those Band of the Bones members, all, you know, really powerful Sheik warriors. Bra frickin' vo. Okay, backpack on. There is a chance that these suckers could still get up at any second, so we need to make sure that when they do, they don't have the ability to do anything to us. Look at that, mercenary leather armor. Okay. Just go through everyone that we can here. There's gonna be a lot of healing happening. Oren, for now, you're just to focus. Firebones trying to trying to heal his sister. Ah, uh, okay. You sure you want to do that? Bad idea, son. Bad idea. Oh yeah, that was definitely a bad idea. 
weapons from all of them. Okay. They've got some good gear. They've got the samurai leggings. I'm, tr I'm trying to seriously just fish through the bodies here as best we can. Because I know there's a chance that we've, we've missed some. I'm trying to see if I can see blades on any of them. Obviously down here is an absolute freaking mess. Honestly, I think dog meat was one of the best purchases we have made in this game. Hands down. Dog meat just did so much work in that fight. So much work. The best of girls. Just so good. <laughs> yeah. Just because they can attack so quickly. Made such a massive difference to us. Okay. Alright, now Oren. Um... I need you to run back inside for a second. Actually, you're about to go unconscious. We'll make this fast. Okay, weapons cabinet. Go ahead and just drop all those off for now. Thank you. Just make sure that they are not... Oh, Bonnie. Little Bonnie. Even Bonnie fought as hard as she possibly could. Oh, wow. Okay. Um... I, I love it when Kenshi throws you something like this, um, because sometimes you can have an episode that'll be completely just, yeah, it's, it's just a chill one, we're just having a good time, and then there's this, where it's two insane things happening at the exact same time. So I think we're going to be okay overall, I'm going to select everyone, I'm going to put them back on jobs overall, we're going to get these two off of there, actually, whoops, I meant just those two, this lot here, I'll just get them to run in, and then they're going to do their own thing. Uh, which is primarily going to be trying to heal other people. Because I, th I think everyone needs to rest up at this stage. I'm going to go through here and just see everyone who's the most... Obviously, he's quite injured. Um, Sand, you do need to rest yourself. But you aren't in kind of life-threatening danger. Hobbs, is, Hobbs needs to have a good rest. Let's see. Labor, Ziff. We're going to get you there. Hanbu, Hanbu, you're actually okay. Spot, you're actually going to be okay as well. Oren, you need to have a good rest. Ruka, we're going to get you resting in one of these beds. Rain, that one there. Um, sand, we're going to get you resting. And we still have some of them getting back up. Firebones attempting to fix this as much as possible. Um, we still need others to be fixed, and I think Hobbs is... Actually, Hobbs, while I like that you're doing that, I actually would rather you medic everyone, if possible. Because I think your medic skills aren't terrible. Yeah. Above engineering, my dude. <clears throat> okay, um, let's have a look. Do I want them to be outside? No, I don't. Spot, we need you back down here. And Hanbu, I thought... Well, yeah. We've discovered a village. Hey, that's something. Okay, so I think everyone's out of immediate death danger. <laughs> Bonnie has been healed up. Um, I think Dogmeat is doing okay. <clears throat> no, Dogmeat dog definitely needs to be seen to. Hanbu, I don't actually think you have any means to heal him. So that's something that we need to rectify. Let's get you running back. Kiji is... Making sure that this door is going to be fixed. I'm so glad we got that second gate. I think if we didn't get that second gate, that would have been a very different story. Um, Firebone is getting healed up as we speak. That's good. I want to get these two in here. Hanbu, there is a strong chance that there is still a, uh, some medical supplies. I'm one of them in here. Sure enough, there is. We're going to go ahead and take that blade at the same time. And I want you to heal dog meat. Thank you, my dude. Okay, any other blades here? Uh, yes. Yes, there is. Uh, it's still taking you a second there, isn't it? Firebone, while you're being healed, let's get you to grab that. And I'm also going to get you to grab that as well, thank you. So you can also do some medicking. Actually, I thought you were being healed, but you, you weren't. <laughs> Hobbs. Solid work, my friend. Solid work. Hanbu, what are you doing? 
operating machine. Oh, it's because you're out of medical supplies. Um, I know that Gary has them, and we are going to be checking back in with Gary, I, I promise. We haven't forgotten about our dude. Okay, just go through the rest here, because, yeah, there are still some weapons that we need to grab. Uh, we are definitely going to be grabbing armor. I'm just trying to lessen the potential death that will suffer from them getting back up. Okay. Definitely one here. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, how about we attack the target? Thank you. Dogmeat helping out. Ouch. Kidging running in to help. Uh, we don't actually have anyone else. Oh, there we go. Got another that's gotten back up. Oh, it's actually trying to carry one of their friends away, I think. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Hanbu, run back here. Okay. Make sure they go down. They're not gonna get away after attacking us like this. They don't get out of this easy. Come on. Take them down. Thank you very much. Is everyone actually still resting up the top there? We have one person that should be resting that isn't resting. Hong's perfectly fine. Let's get you resting now, my dude. Crippled arm. Rain. You definitely need to be seen to. Hanbu, you're operating machinery. Let's get you medicking. We're gonna make that a thing. Definitely needs to happen. Thank you. Appreciate everyone pulling themselves together for this. It means a lot. Let's let's save Rain's wobbling arm that's just getting blown about in the breeze. Firebone's attempting to help out there as well. Oh. Hanbu, you're on your way back. Yeah, good. Yeah, Rain's getting healed now. It's getting there. It's getting there. Alright. Let's go check in on our main man, Park, who's been stealthing his way through the... F just the swamp here, as best he can. This this is an absolute nightmare, this place. Absolute friggin' nightmare. We, we, sp we spied a village off in the distance. Wow, okay, I need to have a drink. So, new rule. Whenever anyone's coming through here, we're going to be sticking with them the whole way. Um, well, I mean, not it's not only that, but um, we didn't really have much choice. We had this attack, the attack of all attacks coming for us. Uh, I don't think you can splint any of your injuries here, can we, Park? Hmm. No, you do have a splint kit, although I don't, I don't, I can't remember if you can splint yourself. Let's put Gary down for a second. Okay, stop sneaking. Uh, no, you can't do anything to yourself, so... I guess just pick that boy up. Um, now... Put that backpack on. So you got some food, at the very least. Now... Let's try and see if we can make it to Shark. He's still pretty quick on his feet. I mean, 73 athletics. You're gonna be fast. You just hope that he doesn't get stuck in the water, which is what I think happened there. Um, they were trying to cross a bit of water and it did not go well. Hopefully, when he's coming back, he's actually not going to be alone. He's going to have others with him, which that has its own risks associated with it as well. I mean, they're not going to be as fast as Park. Not by a long shot. And that is if we actually end up getting anyone. Oh boy. We're in for a good time. Ah, so... In terms of food, Swamp Turtle. That's something that we potentially get some food from. As you can see, their attack isn't very good at all. Um, so if Park wasn't on the edge of death, we could have him go punch that thing to death. I kind of feel bad because they look, they look, you know, kind of innocent. These kind of, you know, funny looking things. It's like halfway between an elephant and something else. Very docile creatures, but you know, Kenshi's, Kenshi's a world where you gotta eat to survive and... 
you gotta eat your rice bowls on the go while hauling a, you know, giant cow-sized thing across your shoulder. Park always seems to have these missions, these events where it's so close to death, but he somehow reins it back in. We have been amazingly lucky. The gods of Kenshi are surely shining upon us. And who do we have here? We have the hounds. Okay, so the hounds, they're pretty cool with us. We've got a construction place here. We've got a another kind of marketplace here. You know what we're going to do? We're just going to rent a bed for a while and we're going to get both Gary and Sam to recover. Let's hope that they're cool with me. Um, yeah. Being here for a bit. We can see that this place here is called the Dancing Skeleton and there's actually the remains of a skeleton um, up there. So yeah, if you're a skeleton, it's a little grim. Over here, Drifter. Yeah, look at this here, Marjorie. It's bleeding frogman. It's oh, it's a bleeding frog frogman. It's it it's not. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put Gary in the bed. Which uh, we're gonna pay 50, 50, 50 cats for, and then we're gonna go ahead and land this one over here. Well, would you look at that big sword? Obviously making up for some shortcomings in the sack, eh? Mm-hmm. Right. Sure. Sure. <laughs> As you can see, the place is, uh, is, is stacked. A bleeding fuckman. What you drinking, Grog? Grog's for girls. What, are you a girl now? Nope. Then you don't need a girl's drink. <laughs> okay. We've got some interesting things going on here. Hey, we've got a guy named Green. Who's chilling out, having a good time. Well, Park, Park, just just keep resting up there, buddy. And Gary, oh, but same thing with you. Just uh, blitz the night away. <laughs> Recover as best you can in that bed. Uh, we're going to check back on, uh, in on them before long and um, and see who they can talk to here. I mean, Green we seem to be able to talk to. Um, who, actually, you know what? We might be able to do it like this. Park, how about you get back up? We're going to get you to have a proper rest in the in the bed here, but we're going to go ahead and have a chat to Green. And then Green, on our behalf, might talk to others who are here. We've got another guy named Glue, who actually has some martial arts skill. Um, okay. It's a diplomatic person for the hounds, so if we piss off the hounds, we can talk to them, I think. Or rather, it's just someone from the hounds named Ears, maybe. I'm not certain. Uh, anyone else we can talk to in here? Barthug. Let's not talk to the Barthugs, because we might potentially start a fight, and while I'd usually be okay with that, I don't think we can handle it right this split second. Let's actually talk to the, the person behind the bar to start with, though. Let's see. Hmm. Welcome to the Dancing Skeleton, the best bar in the swamp. Throw a cat to our lovable dancing mascot, Nelly, for a month of good luck and a full belly to boot. Nelly. Hmm. Nice sign. Aye, everyone loves it, Nelly. Been with us since the old folks opened the bar before me. Heck, you could say it's our lucky charm. Now, what can I do for you anyway? Let's see. We might be able to find out a little bit of information about the Swamplands. Barman, can you fill me in on the Swamplands? Sure can. The swamps can be pretty chaotic for newcomers. Best to know how things work and whose toes to avoid stepping on around here. Towns run by five clans. The Hounds, the Grey Flayers, the Twin Blades, the Black Shifters, and the Stone Rats. Well, we've seen a lot of the Hounds, so we'll just ask about them, because it's a lot to talk about here. The Hounds are the top dogs. They've run the show around here, and they've done a damn good job of getting hemp to grow in the swamps. Whether they've been making sacrifices to Narco, or they've just got green goddamn fingers, who the hell knows? Either way, it's got them a pretty big standing in the smuggling trade. They're the most they're the most powerful of the clans. Their leader, Grim, she's about as smart as she is crazy. Thanks. 
Um, Grim. Your ears. You're not Grim. Hmm. So maybe Grim is around somewhere. But let's go ahead and talk to Green over here, who is looking a little green, but um, has 65 freaking crossbow skill and has this cool freaking mark on his head. Who is this dude? Green, can we hire you? Hmm. Just as it started getting stale in here, a newbie comes strolling in. How about a little wager? You and me. I shoot a green fruit off a guy's head from half a mile away, and you pay my bar tab. Jim will do it. He's drank so much sake that he agreed to sell his own mother right now. Hmm. An eye for shooting, eh? Hell, you're looking at one of the best shooters in the damn swamps. Honed my skills working on a smuggler's base till my crew got wiped out by skull collectors. Ocran, have mercy on their souls. Well, damn. Now you got me spouting religious crap. Look. Mm. Fancy shooting for me. What? Quick my days shooting green fruit off of heads? Look. I already failed my crew before. Life's hold up in a bar is actually starting to grow on me. We all fail sometimes. No one is perfect. Join me. You don't want to spend your days as a bar fly. All right, I'll shoot for you. But I wasn't kidding about paying off my bar tab, you know. You want my turret skills? You have to fork the bill. 2,300 cats. That is such an amazing deal. We've been spending 3,000 for people who have no skills, and here Green, this badass with a cool freaking tattoo on his face, is cool to come with us for 2,300. Hell yes. Deal. Holy crap. Holy crap. We have got ourselves a hiver. Finally, folks, we did it. We've got ourselves a hiver. Green, welcome to the team. Buddy, it's good to have you, and ho 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 ho, damn. Ah, oh, I just can't wait to get him decked out with one of those really awesome crossbows that we still have back in Squin from World's End. This guy is gonna be an absolute freaking nightmare with that crossbow. He's just gonna be able to just take anyone out from a massive different distance. Um, at the same time, his turret skill is, is huge as well, so. I mean, either or is going to be great. But for now, Park, how about you go have yourselves a rest and just see if you have any other contacts, use them. Well, I'll ask around and see what I can find. I'll keep a little change, just in case. Park, go ahead and rest and green, my friend. Let's see if we can find anyone else around here that is worth talking to. Um, we got a holy pacifier hanging out over there. He does look like a little bit of a dummy. Eh? Get it? Pacifier? Anyway, anyway, I'm gonna go maybe have a look at some of the other bars here and or places that we can, well, purchase things. I don't think we have anything else we can sell at this stage, but we can, we can have a look at uh, potential supplies that we can pick up. We'll start off over here, namely fabric. We need lots and lots of fabric still. So green, head into here. Just see what we can find. Oh, people, people going to be sleeping. Um, can we wake them up? Oi, welcome Outlander. Oh, <laughs> it's a lady. That was a very deep voice for a lady. Look and to buy something. We're doubling down on it. Let's do business. Yes, let's. Uh, sure. Oh, you can buy hashish here, which also means that you can sell hashish here. Hash, hashish here. <laughs> It sells better in other places where you can't buy it openly, though, so that's worth us remembering. Uh, let's just go ahead and purchase some fabric for now. Um, what else can we buy? We can't we can't buy any cacti or wheat or anything like that. That's perfectly fine. Um, let's go leave the place for now and just see what else we have in this wee town. Obviously, it's night, so we won't be able to get that much. Oh, what? Whoa, 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 okay, I've, I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> they got upset about me just strolling in. Well, you left your door open, you dummies. Um, okay. Another place, but, uh, it's open or closed? Who knows? We'll go have a look, and there seems to be a, a tear in the, in the, 
the fabric of reality up here. Interesting. Also, same kind of story. Let's go see if we can wake them up and have a quick chat. Uh, show me what you got. I just imagine him just standing over him in his bed, just breathing heavily. Um, what do you have, good sir? You've got a map of the swamps, which we already know. Um, what else have you got? Hmm, hats and stuff. Cool. Um, you can keep your hats and stuff. We're gonna leave. We're out of here, don't worry. You can calm down. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the other bars. That's the one that we have been to. We've got a weapons shop here, and it looks like that might be a bar and another bar over here. No, this is actually the faction HQ of the Hounds. Well, let's go stick our head inside of that and not inside the reality bending trees. And we'll see what we can find. We're going to leave the other homes of the people to themselves. My, what a day we've been having, right? Just one of these seriously unexpected episodes. Green, I'm very happy to have you, my friend. You're going to be our own Robin Hood. And you're actually really fast. What is your athletics? Only 12. That's right. Yeah, hivers run very quickly. I will I will be the speed of light before long. Um, okay, so obviously this is the Hounds faction HQ. Let's see if we can find Grim asleep and then just go talk to them. Ah, there we go. I think in the corner. Yep, Big Grim. Do I really want to talk to Big Grim while they're asleep like this? I mean, I guess it's the best time to do it, right? Just kind of hover over them while they're asleep. Oi. Ever heard of a thing called space punk? Space punk? Do you mean cyberpunk? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> we'll give him his space. Don't, no, don't worry. Where, where we going? We're getting out of here. Green. Green's just a little green. Um, right, let's see if we can go here. Run around the sides. Ooh, are you running over? Where are you guys running? You're not running to attack me, are you? Nope, you're just running to attack something, maybe. Or just running to defend there. I guess they were summoned. Uh, we've got ourselves another bar. This one doesn't have a dancing skeleton atop of it. Um, live food. Okay. Live food. I don't know if all the bars say live food after. Hmm. Who's this? Ah, it's another hybrid at the back. We have a loser with a dry out. Uh, what does that mean? I guess maybe Green has some history here. Hi, hey, I had a plank. What you doing to me, Hive? Those are my last cats, damn it. Oh, I think they might be playing cards, possibly. We've got Lars of the Drifters. Oh, we might be able to pick ourselves up another Hiver here. We've got a mercenary ca captain. We've got Hamut of the Drifters. Okay, attack. Interesting looking armor. Hmm. How much we might be able to uh, summon thee. We've got Park. We have an imposter. Your name is not Park. We'd change that if we did happen to <laughs> recruit you. We've also got someone else over here. We've got Mew. And we've got Stubbs. What a name. Stubbs Momuso. <laughs> Stubbs, you look... Whoa. God damn those eyes, son. Okay, I hope that we can recruit these people. I really do. Green, first of all, let's go talk to them up the top here. Up for a game of cat crawlers, Outlander. Six. A full six rollbacks gets the girl. Um, uh, no, never mind. We're good at shooting things. We're not good at playing cards. Um, right, let's see. Who do we have here? We have Lars, obviously. I think we're going to start... Oh, we can talk to old Wind over here as well. Let's go start with Stubbs. Momuso. Mom? Momuso? Yeah, Momuso. Stubbs Momuso. <laughs> Just sounds like a badass. Who are you? You're a black shifter, eh? You eyeballing me? Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm eyeballing you. What of it? Then let's take this out. <clears throat> oh no, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. Then let's take this outside, Fruit Nut. Don't you go pussying out on me. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, Stubbs, Stubbs isn't amazing. 
I, I thought you said you wanted to take this outside. Let's take this outside. Oh, wow. Oh, they're, they're all going on stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not so good for you, eh, Stubbs? Just, just chill here, Green. Aha. Uh -huh. Seems that I am the victor. And to the victor go the spoils. Uh, let's see. Mmm, square goggles. They're pretty cool. I, is it gonna be stealing if I take these? Nope. Totally isn't. And it reduces our crossbow skill by heaps. So you know what? I don't even want them. You can keep them. Um, actually, no, perception bonus plus two. Actually, on second thoughts, I can see rather well with them. <laughs> Make up your mind. Make up your mind, Green. Um, you know what? I feel bad for the guy. Let's make sure that we actually give him some first aid. Let's call it a trade, good sir. I will take these and leave you be. Oh no, his, his voice is changing. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna go that direction for him. I'm trying to save that voice for someone else. My green, yes, this shall be green. Who else do we want to talk to here? Uh, we've got Mew, who just kind of sat here and watched this whole thing go down. Mew seems to be pretty chill, for the most part. You're doing a lot of healing there, bud. Oh. Oh. And he's gone. Okay. I guess you're gonna take him elsewhere. I'm pretty sure they just actually just toss him outside the bar. Um, let's actually just, just, just wait and just watch this moment. Stubbs Mamuso. Badass extraordinaire just thrown out into the night. See you later. <laughs> just poor Stubbs. Poor Stubbs. I mean, maybe we can talk to him after this. Actually, you know what? He's going to wake up in 15 seconds. Let's see what he's going to do. Green, just be waiting over the top of them. Breathing. Deeply. Heavily. Waiting. Yes. As he awake, he's wounded, and he's getting up. <sighs> um... Welcome back, sir. Oh, no, 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 don't. Oh, no, 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 green. Run, green. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Whoops. I might have started something there. Um, hmm. I think they took my, uh, <clears throat> offers to help as something they weren't. Um, let's see if we can get you to go back inside and not be murdered. Because ideally we can. Yep, okay. They seem to have cooled down for now. Okay. Stubbs, yeah, let's just leave Stubbs be. Let's go talk to Mew over here. Okay. Welcome to the swamps, the land of the murder rapist asshole. Land of the giant ugly ass goddamn spider. Smash his drink on floor. Okay. Um, uh, <clears throat> nice to meet you too. This place stinks. Y yeah. Look, what happened? I'm an ex-slave. Ex-farmer before that, actually. Can't forget my roots now, can I? Managed to escape the Empire with my good friend. The commendable feat, if I do say so myself. <clears throat> Shit, have you ever seen one of those slave camps? Anyway, Swampland seems to be our good choice. You know, being branded slaves and all. But we got attacked by spiders just short of the city. Sucked Ned's goddamn guts right out of him. Made it all this way just to be killed by an oversized bug. Uh, I'm sorry. That's, uh, terrible. Sit down, why don't you? Have a drink with me, will you? Um, sure. Why not? You ain't one of them, are you? One of those swamper assholes? Well, I... Whoa. Hey. You got real pretty eyes. <laughs> Anyone ever told you that? Um, my eyes? I believe. <clears throat> in fact, they are being highlighted by these wonderful goggles that I won in combat, I'll have you know. But, uh, yeah. Drinking in this place isn't so good for you. Then I'll leave with you. Sorted. Go back to your cave, nest, wherever the hell you came from. We'll go there. Hey. I'm pretty good with a shovel. I'll have you know, um, I just need to soap her up with some sake. Hang on. Well, sure. It could be entertaining to have around. I've been asked to recruit the very best, and you seem to be one of them. 
<sighs> so long, swamp suckers. <laughs> Well, we have Miu to join us, so Miu obviously is just straight off starting off with nothing at all, which, you know, that's okay. We're going to go ahead and put you on bodyguard to green, and we're going to go ahead and have a talk to some of the others that are in here, namely Park, this imposter, who's trying to be like Park, the Park we know quite well. So green, how about you go ahead and have a talk with this imposter? Huh. Everyone underrates the cook. But you know what? Without a good cook, you'll be shitting sideways for the rest of your days. Part of a swordsman's training, a scientist's research, part of it is all good food. How can you approve without the fuel that nourishes the mind and the body? Mm. So, there you go. Hire me. Mm -mm. Well, how much exactly? 6,000 cats. What do you say? Uh, that's maybe a little bit more than what we're looking for right now, good sir. But perhaps we will return. Green. We'll see. We will see. Uh, we've also got Old Wind here we can talk to, and Lars at the bar. So let's go to Old Wind here and see what she's got to say. I take it you're here for a crouton. I'm interested. All right. Just one catch. I'm a wanted woman, so I'm pretty much stuck here in hiding. Think you can clear my bounty? I'll be indebted to you if you help me out here. Uh, do you have any skills? I know how to handle myself in a fight. Okay, well, how much is your bounty? 5,000 cats. Hmm. Well, I will place you as a maybe. Hmm. We'll see. Uh, we might be able to come back to her, potentially. Oh, wow, look at the red sun. Awesome. We're going to have a chat to Lars. Uh, we might come back to Oldwin. Because, yes, this is why we have cats, so that we can get more people. <clears throat> I'm looking to leave town. You're looking to join together? I, I have no idea why Lars has come out this way. <laughs> This just happens sometimes. Um, uh, sure, but who are you first? I was orphaned by blood bandits when I was 11. Been stuck in this town ever since that day. But now, it is time for me to grow outside. A spine. A spine on the outside. Uh, okay, I'm sorry to hear that, but I like your spirit. Uh, <clears throat> you're welcome to accompany us and this great band. Good. I'm just going to need 3,000 cats' safety money first. Uh, safety pay? You can't join me for free? You know, so you don't leave me high and dry in, in the desert somewhere. Gives me value to ensure my safety. I don't, sorry, I don't know where his voice is going. I'm trying to keep it somewhere. Sometimes it is going to drift. Oh, all right then. Let's get going then. Okay, so we got Lars. Lars, we can customize a little bit more. So, so, yeah, interestingly enough, some of the others we weren't actually able to customize, which, yeah, I didn't think about that until now, but we can see the racial stats for the Hivers. We have, um, you know, pretty good skills when it comes to lockpicking, etc. Even some to science, in fact. Stealth is pretty good. Yeah, and athletics plus 20%. They're going to get pretty quick, pretty fast. Uh, as for Lars, do we want to try and do anything uh, particular with your face, good sir? Because we can get different, um, like different colored eyes, potentially, and different colored markings. Like, I could, you know, that's that's kind of cool. We could go something like that, a straight line. We go right, red eyes. Yeah. How about that, Lars? Do you like that? I think that's a good look. And as for here, what? Yeah, I was like, you can't do anything for here. Okay, all right, so we have Lars with us now as well. Our cast of characters is expanding greatly. And finally, I, I, I think that's it, I think. No, we also have Hamut over here, uh, who is actually pretty well armored. So we're going to have a chat to Hamut, and that's going to be our final person. Hmm. Nowhere in this world is truly safe. Even with the famous Swamper capital, there are eyes everywhere. You, traveler, you look well-traveled. What are your thoughts on slavery? 
Um. Well. Um. I could care less. I prefer to live and let live. I wonder if you'd still hold that option. Opinion. After being enslaved yourself in one of their stone camps, I've said too much. Ah. Oh, well, maybe if it was Park or Santi having a conversation, things might be different. Oi. Leave me alone. She's with us. So, with that, I think we're going to take these three and go back on over towards the other bar, um, where both Park and Gary are recovering. And they should actually be looking pretty good. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're making it. And back at home, yes, yeah, surprisingly enough, we are also making it. Um, and looks like we got one other making it away from here. One of the band of bones just running away from this place. You know what? Sometimes it's okay to let one live to tell the story and also run away with multiple massive bolts in their chest so that, um, well, when they're found by their friends, they know not to come back here to the sandpit because this, this is our home and we will defend it down to the last. We stood our ground against multiple foes and now the one of the most dangerous ones that's closest to us and all that armor all of their armor for us to go through i'm gonna have a very busy time outside of the uh recording going through this uh but don't worry i'm not gonna run green Mew, and lars and park and gary back not before the next one they're gonna be hanging out in shark preparing for that journey back but we have an interesting team returning with us um green i'm really looking forward to getting him decked out with a really good crossbow so we're gonna have to make a journey back towards squin so that we can do that but yeah that has been us and man what an episode Thank you all for joining me for another episode in the world of Kenshi, which keeps on turning. And this, is, this, this was a lot. There was a lot going on in today's episode. And somehow we made it through all of it with all of our limbs intact. Amazing, if you ask me. The gods of Kenshi are surely with us. I just hope that we continue to have their favor. I've been Rikon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned. Thank you all for joining me for another episode of Kinshi. If you don't know it already, you can pick up the very first piece of Rikon Roleplay's merchandise featuring Leonidas Aventus, the Dragonborn himself. There will be more items added to the store in the coming months, all available at rikonroleplays.com slash store and finally i'd like to extend a great big thank you to the patrons who continue to make this content possible